I think right now our, our, our major program that's building us into the IoT space would be the Team Awareness Kit program. So deploying Team Awareness Kit, and, and a quick explanation of that is it's a shared situational awareness mobile application. So it's also used in DoD. Um, it's, right now it's going to bring about the ability for us to share red force, blue force, location information, uh, data exchanges, uh, text messages across agents, sharing pictures, all those types of things, right? So it's the most information sharing we've ever been able to provide agents and officers on the ground. Uh, from the IoT's per perspective is we have a lot of disparate surveillance assets in the field that are generally stovepiped. They're only, the information's only available to the local user base. So how do we get that data back off and get it onto this platform so everybody can share that information? So we're currently using a lot of IoT gateways to share that data, to get it back on LG, LTE or, or a satellite network to push the data back down to the agents who need it as they're looking, walking around the desert, officers who need it when they're responding to events, um, and then even the aircraft who are responding to agents on the ground so we can get them there faster. Uh, the other thing is getting edge compute processing out there on the surveillance assets. So how do we put edge compute on very small, lightweight devices so it's only sending back the data that we do need and not all the superfluous data like movement and trees and animals running around the desert? So I think that's really our, our edge piece into the IoT space right now and where we're building from.